OK, Mr Bryden, ready for your voiceover? And in three, two, one... I've been a huge fan of Neil Diamond all my life, so I'm thrilled to discover more about the Brooklyn boy who became one of the biggest stars in the world. Tonight, I'll be taking Neil back to his roots and getting to know a musical hero who I can now honestly say has become a true friend. Mm, I don't know about that. But... Has become someone I think of as a friend. Neil Diamond is someone I met recently purely for the purposes of a television show. Yes, yes. Absolutely. He's a true musical legend, having sold 129 million records. Well, 130? 130 million yes. records. He's had an astounding 36 top 40 singles. 38? An astounding 38 top 40 singles. Uh, place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? And he has a place in the Rock and Roll okay. Hall of Fame. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Mr Diamond to the stage, please. Mr Diamond to the stage. He's a singer, a songwriter, and a detailed fact checker. Absolutely. Please welcome, for one night only, Neil Diamond. <laughs> Diamond, music legend and my childhood hero. I'm meeting Neil here in New York to take him back to his roots. The Brooklyn boy who became a global megastar. 
I want to find out more about the man I've been listening to since I was a teenager. This home movie footage is the first image of Neil Leslie Diamond, born on the 24th of January 1941 to Keeve and Rose in Brooklyn, New York. And here we are at 12.15. All right. This is my old apartment. Turn it off, will ya? That's the way you communicate here. <laughs> Two floors above the butcher. First door on the right. These are the Brooklyn Roads. Two floors above the butcher. First door on the right. Look, it's got the same floor. And uh, my brother and I would come home and we'd race each other up the stairway, the two of us. So who would get the, to the top? So what do you say, Rob? Let's do it now. Come Ready? on. Go. All right. He's pushing me. Racing up two flights of staircase. Squirming into Papa's embrace. And his whiskers warm on their face. Hey, Greg. Sharon. Oh, so man. these are. Hi, Greg. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sharon. My friend Rob. Hi. So, you guys now live in Neil Diamonds. I'm gonna need a minute just to get my breath back. That's all right. <laughs> this, uh, these were the uh, rooms that I grew up in, and it was, it was great. I remember playing at one of the birthday parties. Our kids were playing spin the bottle. Accidentally, I set fire to the dining room table. And uh, how do you accidentally set fire to a dining well, room table? Well, you're accidentally playing with matches. You should and never uh, have been doing that. Yeah, I know this that is, now. This is, if you are watching at home, please don't try any of this. <laughs> <laughs> this room we, we saved for roller skating. <laughs> and the lady underneath us, Mrs. Gulkis, would take her broom and she would beat it on her ceiling. Bum, bum. Please yeah. stop, please yeah. stop. And this is the backyard. It's very similar to the backyard I have now in Beverly Hills, in a way. <laughs> you that, might want to take right? a look at it. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> it's really? very similar. Yeah. Let's see if we can open, open this. Yeah, this was my view into the world. And this was the window that, when the Brooklyn Dodgers won the World Series in 1955, I stood by this window and screamed my lungs out. Sandy Amos makes a one-hand catch. The Dodgers win it two to nothing and win their first World Series. We were the world champions, and that's a very clear memory in yeah. my mind. Uh, I don't mean Dodgers. to be a party pooper, but you know when you say world championships, you yeah. do realize, of course, it's only played in I America. Know. Yeah, you, I it's know. it's a, it's I a know. technicality, Neil. But you can't be you can't be world champions. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit of a yeah, misnomer. Yeah, uh, yeah. But to me, at that time of my life, anywhere beyond yeah. this block yeah. was the whole world. How great it is for us to be back in London. <laughs> and to be performing for our beautiful audience here once again. Hello again. Hello. I just called to say hello. I couldn't sleep at all last night. And I know it's late. I just couldn't wait. Hello, my friends. Hello. I just called to let you know I think about you every night when I'm here alone and you're there at home. Hello. When you're not there, I 
just need to hear Hello Again, hello It's good to need you so It's good to want you Like I do to feel this way when I hear you say hello hello Diamond and New York will be forever linked. His dad was a shopkeeper two doors down from the small apartment where they lived in Brooklyn. Had a dream and it filled me with wonder. So your father's store was a dry goods store. Basic clothing, yeah. It's kind of like a tiny department store. It had a little bit of everything. Yeah. Was he happy there? Because you've said that he was uh, he was a creative man. He, he liked to perform. He was very outgoing, and my parents loved to dance and be social, so I don't think he was happy uh, doing what he did. 
Uh, it was something he could make a living at, barely. My mom is still around, God bless her. She's 96. Wow, you've got some good genes in you in that case. Well, I hope so. Forever in good genes. There we are, there we are. You That's see? the title. I'm just, I'm giving you these. This is gold. This is gold. <laughs> it's gold. He doesn't realize it. It's gold. Forever in blue jeans. It's hard to believe, but Neil didn't cross the Brooklyn Bridge until he was 16 years old. This bustling neighborhood was his world. There we go. And here we are on beautiful Tar Beach, <laughs> one of the great places in Brooklyn. And uh, we had a lot of fun up here. Do you recall the last time you came up and stood on this roof? I lived here until I was 16, uh, from the time I was 10 until I was 16. And uh, we used it. It was like part of it was the, our terrace. Your later. father had a store just a few doors away. Yes. And he would want to get you working there as much to know where you were because there were gangs in the area and there, there were That's dangers right. for a boy. That's right. Did you get shot once today? Is that, <coughs> is that true? I did. I had a. Uh, I went out with a gang once and uh, I got down and I. Boom! Suddenly I realized I got hit in the face oh. with a, by an air gun yeah. right underneath the eye. So I was very lucky. Yeah. But it, it taught me to, uh, to avoid that kind of a situation again. I never did do that again and uh, but I do remember it. it was very clear you were in the wrong place at the wrong time and you haven't seen that kid that shot you for over 50 years but Neil <laughs> <laughs> here he is <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say to him <laughs> I'd say thank you for not raising those sights up just for a two little inches. bit further yeah. yeah I love it when the audience gets up and sings and dances it's it's delicious but you know I also love to sing, and uh, I can only get away with singing by myself if I do songs that you haven't heard. And this is one you probably haven't heard. It's from our new album. It's called uh, Nothing But a Heartache. Was it nothing but a heartache? In the middle of a bad dream. took on the whole world and I never had a chance girl was a one-way conversation never got the invitation the sharpness of her words deceiving and I couldn't stop the bleeding Lord, I tried to be forgiving But getting by don't mean you're living And on that highway going nowhere Was an exit overdue All she had for me was heartache So she broke my heart in two Drifting in a small boat Out on the middle of an ocean You were there on my horizon And I didn't have a notion Unprepared to comprehend it Felt alone and unattended Said my prayers and reached my hand out And you appeared to me that day Came and led me to a new place I had never been there before Pulled me in the right direction
And I learned that lesson well Yes, I did You're the son of all my heartbeats You're the only truth my heart needs Show me how to make the journey And I can't let you walk away No, not today Cause I've already slept with heartache Time to chase the night away Just the two of us together Does forever sound okay? So yes it does So yes it does join me don't be shy um, <laughs> what a special night this must be for you it is it's uh, it, it was up until this point uh, but, uh, uh, no, I, he's, he's toying with me ladies and gentlemen you played here in 1977 didn't you? I did uh, I, uh, really well yes we had we had lots of fans and we had a Princess, a Princess Margaret was here. Princess Margaret was here? She was nice. Also, uh, Michael Caine was here. He came to see the show and... Michael uh, Caine was the here? The actor, yeah. And wow. he, he and I did a samba line around the entire audience. It was so much fun. And I, I invited him tonight, but he, he couldn't make it. I guess he, his leg was bothering. He couldn't do the That's samba. It. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. But you'd have loved it if he'd come tonight. Oh, I would have adored it if yeah. he, he'd I, I'd come. I'd ask you don't just keep banging on about Michael Caine. <laughs> well, look, what about the duet? The new... The duet. I sent you emails. Well, I guess I got it. I'm you sorry. You did. It said received, so you know I know you did. <laughs> Couldn't I you? said we would do Song Sung Blue together. Bring a microphone on. Bring a microphone. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Just pop it there. Thank you very much. Now, what I thought, Neil, uh, we'll just go back and forth, OK? Back and forth. You do a line, I do a line. It'd be like Studio 54 in the 70s. <laughs> Put all thoughts of Michael Caine out of your mind, oh, okay? I like him. I like him. I know you I like him, Neil. Neil, Neil. Tonight. Okay, so, uh, Neil. It's Song Sung Blue. You're familiar with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm happy to do it. Let's, let's... All right. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. I'm about to start it. Here we go. I'm afraid. You do a line. I do a line. It's a democracy, okay? <laughs> well, let's try it. All right. Let's try it. Song Sung Blue. Everybody knows what. All right, here we go. Song, song, blue. Every garden grows one. <clears throat> Me and you are subject to the blues now and then. My line, my line. When you take See? the blues and make a song, <laughs> you sing them out again. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. You want Michael Caine? I would have liked to have Michael Caine. Uh, Off we go, boys. Song, sang blue. <laughs> Weeping like a willow. Song, sang blue. Sleeping on my pillow. I've got a lovely duvet. It's a funny thing, Neil, but you can sing it with a cry in your voice. You get all emotional. And before you know it, you start feeling good. You've simply got no choice. He's good, isn't he? Sun, sun, blue, weeping like a willow. 
sunshine blue sleeping on my pillow. Funny thing, but you can't sing it with a cry in your voice. And before you know it, starts feeling good. You simply got no choice. You simply got no choice. That song, song, do. Yeah. Wow. Come on. Come on. They love you, Rob. They love you. Uh, do you know Cracklin' Rosie? Yes, I do. Can I sing it with you? No. Everybody, let's try to get on without this man. Rack and Rosie get on board. We gonna ride till there ain't no more to go. Taking it slow. Love, don't you know? At me a time where the poor man play. Sing like a guitar Hang on me, girl, I'll some keeps running on, yeah Play it now, play it now, play it now, my lady Crack the rules and make me a smile Got it at last for an hour Well, that's all right, we got all night Set this world right Like a guitar Hang on a big girl I saw keeps running on Yeah Play it now Play it now Play it now My lady Crack and roll You make me a smile Got her with last for an hour Well that's alright We got all night Set this world right Like this a dream don't ask no questions, Believe it or not, Neil is a master swordsman. In fact, after graduating, he won a fencing scholarship to New York University. This is when Neil's music career took off, as rock and roll exploded onto the scene and he started to make a name for himself, first as a songwriter and then as a singer in underground clubs in New York, like the famous Bitter End. Coming in back into here now, what feelings does that evoke for you? I, I'm, I'm in denial when I come here because... Denial of what? Denial of my whole past. This is where professionals played. You start songwriting yeah. and you got, correct me if I'm wrong, you got rejected by five publishing houses in about seven years. Is, is, is that about right? Uh, I got fired by five so, publishing So they took you on and then got rid of you? Yeah. So I was one of those guys, you do rock and roll, we're going to hire you. Yeah. And uh, I quit school. I quit New York University. And your mum and dad supported I never discussed it with them. You never discussed it no, with them? No, I didn't, I didn't have the nerve to tell them I left college. So they thought you were still at college? They thought I was still in college. 
five of them fire you, right? Yeah. Now, is that not the world saying, Neil Diamond, songwriting is not for you? No. <laughs> After that year was up, uh, I did what any red-blooded American fool would do. I asked for a raise. You've had a year without a hit. Not a hit. Forget so about I'm it. So I do a raise. Yes. <laughs> they, are you kidding? You've delivered three songs this year. You only delivered three? Three songs. In a year? Yeah. But guess what? They were starting to get good, the songs. I don't care. That's very poor. Three very songs poor. in a year. I I'm know. sorry, but I'm no Neil. I, they, they could be, they could have been Sweet Caroline, I Am, I Said, but I'd be <laughs> wanting more for my money than three a year. <laughs> Neil attended Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, where he sung in the school choir. The chorus is starting now. Incredibly, he was there at the same time as a young Barbara Streisand. Years later, they released the hit song, You Don't Bring Me Flowers. Tonight, Neil has announced that he'll be giving a surprise-free pop-up gig at Erasmus Hall to showcase his latest songs. Hundreds of fans and local media have rushed here, hoping to be one of the lucky few to get a golden ticket, including one very excited fan from Port Talbot. This is the dressing room. He's in there now, getting ready to go on. So I'm going to wait here like a benign stalker until he comes out. How does this feel, being back here? It's fantastic. I think it's the second oldest high school in America, public high school. It's 400 years old. And you're doing songs from Melody Road? We'll do a couple so of songs from Melody Road. this is the first time you've ever done them in front of an audience? That's right. <laughs> I think we'll get through it. Oh, I think, I you'll, think you'll get, get through, through it. it. <laughs> I'd be willing to put money on it, Neil. I think you'll get through well, it. We'll see. was maybe a bit too sad One day rolled into tomorrow You gave me the best you had That's how we started together And how together we're gonna stay You taught me a little about good times I thought through a little bit of rain You brought me a part of your sunshine Took in the heart of my pain It wasn't supposed to happen But then you happened to come my way Every night, every day Every word that you say Made it so Every thought that I had Said I ought to be glad Now I know rather forget but you changed my life for the better and I know I bet I'll be good to you every night every day every word that you say made it so every thought that I had said I ought to be glad now I know Something blue. Farewell to my little bit of 
Neil Diamond's songs have been covered by some of the biggest artists in the world. But it was when a young Neil, making his way in New York, took to the stage in the city's underground clubs that his own career took off. Melinda was mine. You're thinking now you're writing for your own voice. You're not thinking you're not trying to write for some other That's act. right. And that was hard. I was never able to write for someone else. But for some reason, it was easy for me to put the songs into my own words. It worked mm. for me. A solitary man. When the record Solitary Man came out and I'd do some interviews, and the first question they would ask inevitably was, are you a solitary man? Yeah. And my reaction was, what does what I am have to do with the song? Well, I never. Yes, I realize it's everything now, but I didn't know then. I thought the song was just something I made up. And you start playing clubs around primarily New York. Whoever would hire me got me. In those days, was it true that the, the mob had fingers in clubs and was it a dangerous place? I was doing Top of the Pops and uh, I got a phone call and he said, I, I kind of promised somebody that you'd play in, in Brooklyn at a club and you got to come back, they're going to hurt me big time if you don't. So I was, I was really upset. Uh, I wanted, it was my first time in England and I, I wanted to see it, you know. I had barely been out of Brooklyn. Mm. I played the club in Brooklyn, and I went back to collect my couple of hundred dollars in the back there. And there's a guy sitting behind the table. Uh, he was looking to pick a fight with me. Anyway, he opens the drawer, and he takes out a pistol, and he puts it down on the table, and I didn't budge. He would, he would have to kill me. I was stupid enough. <laughs> And he took an envelope out and threw it on the table. I walked over and picked it up, left. I didn't say thank you. There were no words exchanged. Neil will forever be known as a New Yorker. The city will always be in his blood. During the 60s and 70s, he went from success to success as he cemented his place in pop history as a global superstar. When did you leave New York and relocate in LA? I left in 69. And what do you think of LA? I hear you think it's fine. You know, the <laughs> sun shines, I'd say most of the time. How would you describe the feeling? Uh, I'd say it was laid back. I mean, the palm trees grow. The rents are low, but... But what do you keep thinking? Uh, I kept thinking about making my way back. Yeah, because you're New York City born and raised. That's right. Yeah. But nowadays, I'm lost between two shores. Uh, I mean, LA's fine. But it ain't home. New York's home. But it ain't mine no more. It is fine, the sun shines most of the time. And the feeling is laid back. Palm trees grow and rents are low, but you know, I keep thinking about making my way back. Well, I'm New York City, born and raised. But nowadays, I'm lost between two shores. LA's fine, but it ain't home. New York's home, but it ain't mine no more. I am a sin. To no one there And no one heard at all Not even the chair I am, I cried I am, said I And I am lost and I can't even 
even say why Leaving me lonely still Did you ever read about a frog who dreamed of being a king? And who became one? Well, except for the names and a few other changes, if you talk about me, the story is the same one. But I've got an emptiness deep inside my drive. But it won't let me go. And I'm not a man who likes to swear, but I never cared for the sound of being alone. I am, I said, to no one there. And no one heard at all, not even the chair. Leaving me lonely still It is fine, the sun shines most of the time Oh no Did you ever read about a frog who dreamed of being a king? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh. I couldn't come all the way to New York to hang out with Neil and not fulfill a childhood dream. Oh, I'm getting nervous in front yeah. of you. E to A. Oh, okay, I just see. get that. Here you go. How? You got it. <laughs> with our trip together in New York coming to an end, I took Neil back to Brooklyn's Coney Island home of the world-famous Cyclone, still as happening today as it was when Neil was a boy. How often would you come down to the beachfront, though, and, you know, to relax? In the summer, every day. Every day? Every day. I have a couple of mates with me, and we'd, we'd go out and spend the day at the beach. That's what we did here. Yeah. There was no charge for it. Who cared if there were a million people? <laughs> history. It's the kind of thing that comes down to simple terms. It's not about you. Wait, oh, wait, do I go the G? Yeah, that work. It's, it's not about, about me. But that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Close. Love is all about we. Yes, it's all about we. Your British fans, in particular, will remember that iconic photograph of you at the White House when you danced with Princess Diana. Yes. Was that planned? How, how did that come about? Nancy Reagan yeah. came over and uh, asked if I would sing a song. And I said, well, I'd love to, but I, I haven't worked anything out with the orchestra, and uh, so I don't think it would work very well. She said, well, come over here, let me have you meet the conductor of the orchestra. And I did, and, and he had a whole list of my songs that they had, oh. they had already rehearsed. Right. So, uh, I couldn't get out of it very well. I said, okay. September morn. And uh, 
I did them, and I was very, very happy to do them for uh, Princess Diana. It was a wonderful, uh, exhilarating experience for me. And then, of course, she asked me to dance, which was even more amazing. And uh, we danced. I fell in love once again, and we parted. And that's the end that of the story. Was it. That, that was a perfect ending. That was it. Storybook. You can take it from me that British fans have always been loyal to Neil, and in return, he's performed some of his biggest concerts on our shores. One of the biggest moments for you in Britain in, in recent years would have had to have been Glastonbury. Is that the biggest festival you've played? I think that's the biggest festival in the world, maybe. Yeah. But that's quite an awesome sight. You pull up on a road and you don't see anything. It's just a normal, little, sweet English country road. And then suddenly you start to hear a sound a sound like far off as a, a jet plane flying over. It's, it's a little scary. And then you get to the top of that hill and you see what is there before you. Hundreds of thousands of people. I've never felt that way before a show, ever before. This was beyond nerves. Oh my God, <laughs> how are we gonna do this? Oh my gosh, you know. And we finally did it and it was great fun. But that first impression was of pure fear. Oh, what a joy. You did good. You, just a little practice on the bridge and you're fine. This one is one you haven't heard. I finally, I think, found the truth and the meaning of love, and we'll see what you think. She said, it's time to teach you the art of love. She said, we're gonna reach to the part of love A place you never knew A place that lives Somewhere inside of you You made me see I'd have to be Brand new man He lives in me So here in me Is where I begin You show The kind of lesson I can't erase You show a way to get to that special place to where love comes alive. And you be waiting there when I arrive. truth was clear Love's not a place you go to find It lives in here Just leave it space and give it time I learned That I could stumble and maybe fall. I learned being humble, I'd have it all. A brand new way to live. And love's not what you have. But what you give And 
the art of love is who you share it with. Come on, let's do this one together. So good, so good, so good, so good! 